Hello friends and welcome. I'm Sarah Liz and I am so excited that you're here. It is day one of the 12 days of giveaways. I have over $2,000 in crafty supplies to give away between now and Christmas. If you're new to my channel, I give away free digital content on the first and third Friday of every month because I'm on a mission to make card making more affordable and more accessible. It has been a tremendously important part of my mental health journey. A couple of years ago, sort of after the pandemic, after I spent a year and a half at home teaching English from my kitchen table, I went back to campus for the first time and I was a mess. I was really, really struggling. I ended up in therapy and on medication. And ultimately, one of the things that helped the most was card making. It gave me something to do with my hands. It gave me something to really focus on and think about, something that challenged me, that got me out of my head. And I think it was a tremendously important part of my recovery, of finding my way back to this place of joy. So I want to pass along as much as I can to the rest of you. I know that card making can be expensive sometimes. I like to use fun supplies and fancy dyes, but that's not accessible to all of us. So... I have the 12 days of giveaways. I bought eight crafty goodie bags, mystery bags, crafty parcels. They call them all sorts of things from some of my very favorite brands. And we're going to give those away. Then I also have additional supplies to give away along with some paid membership to my Patreon. So if you've been looking for databases that help you search through all the different freebies that I offer, that's a way to access some of those bonus content pieces. And then I've also linked in the description box below the YouTube playlist for the emergency card kits. If you're new here, if you haven't been around, I just link all of them in that same YouTube playlist, or I have a smaller one that is just holiday or a smaller one that is just Spellbinder stuff uh, or coordinates with Spellbinder stuff. And so even if you don't win anything, even if you don't want to have to sign up for a giveaway, I have freebies for you and it's linked in the description box below. So to let you know what all we are giving away, I have two grab bags from Waffle Flower. That was the top pick of the all the options I gave you guys in the poll and Patreon. That was a challenging one. I actually bought two because I felt like they were very narrow. So I bought the stencil grab bag and the die grab bag, and I will give those away together. Those will go to the same person. I have one from Trinity Stamps. I didn't buy that one. I bought the rest of them, but I'm on the Trinity Stamps design team. And so when I reached out and Tanisa found out that I was purchasing this to give it away, she just gave it to me. I was going to buy the $100 grab bag. She gave me the $200 grab bag. It has over $800 in supplies in there. You guys, I've opened it. I haven't looked through all of it, but I peeked and it's really, really good. Like, it's amazing. I also have two from Craft Stash. It's a company out of the UK. It's like a scrapbook.com, but it has some different brands. So I bought the Ready Steady Mystery Goodie Bag Bundle. I can't remember what they call it. But anyway, it's a mix of brands, I think. And it was the one that had the best value on it. So all of their grab bags, for the most part, are about $35, $36. Um, and that one was on special. And it had the most in it. I bought that one. It has sold out. But I also bought the It's Just Paper goodie bag. That one is Justine Hovey's brand. It is still available. And I have an exclusive coupon code to Craft Stash. So if we get to that unboxing and you're like, oh, that looks really great. Please know, just because I got a particular set of something doesn't mean that yours will match mine exactly. But I still feel like it gives you a flavor for what might be in there or how much might be in there. And I always find that really helpful because grab bags can be, I don't know, a little scary sometimes. So uh, I have that one. There are a bunch of other goodie bags that they offer uh, and they are a variety of brands or like there are some by theme like birthday or Christmas and they're all that really great price point. Um, try the coupon code. I'll try to link it up here for you. I have an exclusive coupon code. Sometimes it works on things like grab bags and sometimes it doesn't, but if you can save a little money, I'm happy to help you with that. I have a goodie bag from the Sassy Club. They do really phenomenal fandom stamp sets. So if you have a favorite movie like a, a Harry Potter or uh, maybe a Disney something, a lot of times you might find 
a stamp set inspired by that or sometimes some pattern paper and things like that. So I am really excited to unbox that one. If you aren't familiar with that brand, my friend Lauren over at Lauren Taylor Made does Fandom Friday every Friday these days. And she uses the Sassy Club a lot along with some other really great fandom companies. So I will leave a link to her channel below. Then I bought one from Simon Says Stamp. This is their crafty parcel. They only do goodie bags a couple times a year and they sell out super fast. So I swooped in right away on Black Friday and bought that one. Um, I knew it was probably coming. They did one the year before and I have a spreadsheet of, <laughs> of all these things because I try to help people to make informed decisions instead of impulse purchases. Um, so that is here and I peeked at that one. It is also excellent and quite large. Then uh, today we're going to open one from Scrappy Tales. I love that Sabrina does really unusual things, different sizes, some pop-up stuff, lots of variety in the style of dies and stamps from her. And I think that that's fantastic. Uh, I will also be giving away supplies then from Spellbinders and Hero Arts and Stampin' Up. Um, I'm just sort of picking through like what all I want to give away. As much as possible, I'm giving away brand new unused supplies. I have just a few gently used, um, but only if I think they're really good and I'm worth passing along in that way. I do want to let you know how to register for the giveaway, but I want to unbox it for you first. So you know if you're even interested, I will say there are two ways to enter to win, which means you can get your name in there twice if you really want to. Um, I also need to let you know I will only ship physical product within the 48 contiguous United States. I'm really, really sorry, but shipping is so expensive. Um, if you are international or you live in Alaska or Hawaii, feel free to register anyway. And it's going to ask you, you know, where are you from? You don't need to give me your whole address. If you win, I'll ask for your address. Um, but that just lets me know, can I send you a physical product? If not, I'll reach out via email and we'll try to do something digital, okay? We'll try to figure something out. Okay, I think that's everything. Oh, friends, I'm excited. Are you ready? Let's unbox this. All right, friends. So Scrappy Tails is one of the only companies with grab bags still available and they have three different price points. They have a $35 grab bag with $100 of supplies. This one is the $50 grab bag with $135 in supplies, or there's a $100 grab bag with $250 in supplies. I bought that one, the big one, the first time, two years ago, and it was one of the most generous grab bags I think I've ever gotten. And it was great because I'd never purchased anything from that company before, and so I wasn't worried about getting duplicates. Um, so today, we're gonna look at this one, and I tell you what, I have peaked already. Um, this has more than $135 of supplies in it. This has over 152, not including the embellishments. And I was really, really pleased with everything that's in here. Um, one of the ways to enter to win is to vote in the poll after the unboxing and let me know what you think. What do you think of the value of this kit for what it costs? It's a $50 kit. I will say, if you like what you see, if Scrappy Tails is new for you and you're thinking about a grab bag or maybe just purchasing a single item from the shop, I do have an exclusive coupon code. I'll put it at the top of the screen here for you. And then in the description box below the video, I'll just list all of the exclusive coupon codes that I have for you for different companies. So there are three embellishment mixes here and I love, look how cute this little case is. And we have six different embellishments and they take up sort of two slots each, but they're just beautiful, very shimmery snowflakes and a variety of colors. So we have white iridescent, an iridescent pink. This is like maybe an iridescent white. This is more of a flat white, an iridescent light blue, and then just a very sparkly, royal blue. I love that. It's hard to pick up the dark one here, but I think these are beautiful and kind of the perfect size because otherwise I hoard them and then I got problems. This one is a beautiful embellishment mix. I would not have thought to put these together. So we have some red clay hearts, some red gems, and then there are some like little round pearls, flat back pearls, and then we also have them in brown. So there are hints of gold in here. There are some clear, they just look like little diamond pieces. This is beautiful, absolutely stunning. And I love that. 
Then we have some neon orange with an iridescent shimmer. These are gems as well in a variety of sizes. Super fun. My boys might love that one. And then we have a pretty sizable stack of stamps and dies and stencils, okay? So this first one is the A7 staircase, and this one, I think, is a pop-up mechanism. So if you look, I'm turning it sideways, like maybe you can see the dimension. I think it creates this dimensional staircase that you would put on the front of a five by seven card. Though quite frankly, you could probably chop the ends off and put it on an A2 instead. There are, I think, decorator pieces. These look like pop-up pieces, but each of these little sort of boxes um, is going to create that little stair step for you. And then you've got sentiments. We have thanks, happy birthday, just because. It's a really versatile die set, I think, and I love that. I think it's super great. This one is a beautiful floral layering set. So I'm gonna flip that over for you. We get the individual flowers to layer on top of the greenery pieces, and it's huge. This is, oh gosh, um, maybe four and three quarters of an inch by mm, three, and, three and a quarter, three and a quarter inches wide. That's gonna fill your A2 pretty well. You could mix and match this then with the sentiment dies that we have in this A7 staircase. I think that would make for a beautiful card. Then this one, do we have a name? Christmas icons. We have a bunch of little stamps, no peeking, Merry Christmas, a bunch of numbers, do not open until Christmas Eve. I think it would be super fun to make an advent calendar out of this because this is five across and what, five down? So we have 25 of them. I think it's gonna be super fun next year um, I, my boys always get an advent calendar and I want to do like little envelopes that have bad dad jokes in them. <laughs> and so it would be super fun to decorate the envelopes with this one. I wouldn't need dies for that. I don't have coordinating dies for this one, um, but you probably don't need it, right? You could just use even a small like circle punch or circle die for these if you were interested in cutting them out. Very cute. This is a two layer stencil. It is called sheet music. Let's take this out. It's really hard to see what a stencil looks like um, in the packaging. So this is two pieces and we have the staff and then we have some notes. It's gonna be really important that you have your stencils going the right direction. Um, I've pulled this out once before to see if these lined up perfectly or if you had to like wiggle and maneuver but they do line up, but they don't line up if you have it backwards, okay? So just, they do line up and I think it's really beautiful. I grew up playing music. I played the piano for most of my life and really I, I haven't since I had kids, I ran out of time and it was loud. <laughs> but I wanna know if you play an instrument, let me know in the comments below. I'm super curious and what is your favorite instrument? So I think this is a really beautiful two piece stencil set. And this one is huge. This is a six by eight inch stamp set and it doesn't have a name on it, friends. I'm not sure what this one is called. Um, if any of these are still in stock, I'll try to link them below and I'll try to find a name for this one, but it would be so great for making little tags, right? And look, look at those penguins. Look how cute and chubby they are. Some of them truly are like, they look like little tags. They wouldn't be that hard to cut out. Um, and it just has the feel of something that would mix really well with emergency cards. So you know, I'm all over this. So I love this one. Then this is a hot foil plate. We have two hot foil plates in this kit. There is a big old ornament and it's called the Christmas Word Hot Foil, HF. Cheer, joy, cozy friends, Christmas season, merry, believe, family, peace. I think it's gorgeous. There's little stars in the background as well. This wouldn't be difficult to cut out if you really wanted to, but it would be great to just hot foil onto a flat front card, which makes for easy mailing around the holidays. So a really beautiful option. And then this one is the A2 snow background. I have a snow... I can't remember if it's a hot foil or a better press or something like that, but I feel like it's really dense up top. And then by the time we get to the bottom, it's not as dense. And I sometimes have a hard time foiling it because I get over foil. 
but this is really evenly distributed. I also love the size of the dots or the snowflakes because if you're using like a prism foil or something that has like a shattered glass looking foil, um, you can pick up some of that extra pattern because the dots are a little bit larger. So I think that's beautiful. Then we have one more die set. This is the birdcage die set, and this is very tall. So from top to bottom, this is about five and three quarters of an inch, maybe a little bit more, and then across three and an eighth. So this is almost like a mini slimline size. I particularly love the curvature here. It's a little whimsical, a little wonky, um, and I just think that that's really, really beautiful. So that is the last item in our goodie bag. So in the end, we have our snowflake embellishment mix and then two very full bags of embellishments, two stamp sets, three large die sets, and two large hot foil plates, over $152 in value. And I just think that this is a really lovely mix of sort of holiday, not holiday, things you can use all year long. If you are interested in winning all of the supplies that you see here, there are two ways to enter. The first, if you go to the description box below the video, click on more or show more, it will unpack that description box. There's a Google form. When you click on it, it's gonna ask you for your name, where you're from, so I know if I can send this to you, and then it's gonna ask you for your email address. That form will stay open for five days, and then on the sixth day, I will reach out to the winner via email so they can send me their mailing address and I can pass this along to them. There is a second way to enter, and that is through Patreon. So right below that Google form, I will have a link to a poll in my Patreon. If you're already a member, just make sure you're logged in and that link should take you, take you straight to where you need to be. If you're not a member, I do have a free membership option and you can vote from the free option. I'll link to the video right below that um, that will walk you through like, what is my Patreon? How do you join? How do you join for free, okay? And then to enter, you need to vote. There is a comment section, but it's the voting that actually enters you because it puts your name and your email address in a spreadsheet for me. And that's gonna help me keep track of everything. I have a bunch of giveaways to sort of keep track of at the same time. So I love your comments and I'm really interested to hear what you think of this kit or of this grab bag. Um, but please know it's the voting that's gonna get you entered to win. Some of you have already voted in some early polls. If you did, your name is entered from each of those polls that you voted in. So some of you may have your name in there four times, but starting today, there are two ways to enter to win this one. We'll be back tomorrow to unbox another something and give that away and every day until Christmas Eve. Each giveaway will stay open for five days and please be patient with me. I'll do my best to try to post these things, who wins to Patreon and post them to YouTube just in my community post. So if you're trying to figure out who won, I'll do my best, but I am recording a fair number of the unboxings ahead of time. So I may not always have that announcement straight in the video. I'll see what I can do. All right, my friends, that will do it for today. Be sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of the giveaway videos. And let me know in the comments below which of the prizes you're most excited to see up close and personal. Thank you so much for spending your time with me, and I will see you next time.